We're going to start with our feet in a wide position as wide as our frame. I'm going to move back and I'll get out of your way when we get down on our mats. So we're going to bend the knees, take the ball down towards the mat, and then press it up. We bend our knees. And you always want to be like a nice proud chest. So I'm not leaning like this. That will strain my lower back. So let's look over the horizon, stick out that booty, and press through those heels. Down and lift. And three. So I want to see everyone's eyeballs. And two. And one. Now give me a side stretch. Keep the ball in your top hand. Let the bottom arm hang down. And let it circle forward. Almost like it's on its own. And feel the length in this side of your body. And three. And two. And one. Back with two hands. And straighten up. And like side bend to the other side. My top hand keeps the ball. My bottom arm hangs down. And I let it circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Two hands on the ball and bring it back up. And then I'm going to round forward over that railing. Pull that belly in as I'm coming down. I'm going to gently press into my ball. And as I press into my ball, my core is going to press in. And then I release the ball. I press down on the ball, pull that belly button in deeper, and release. I exhale to inhale. Long legs. Belly goes in deeper with each press of the ball. Two more. Exhale. And inhale. And last one. Exhale and inhale. Grab that ball and then slowly start to bring your spine back up. Good. Let's take it onto our mats. And we're going to take that ball between our knees. And the hands will be behind the thighs. We're going to use those hands to sit up super, super, super tall. Okay? So I'm going to take an inhale, nice deep breath, inhale. On the exhale, chin to chest, scoop that belly and round the back just until those arms straighten and make sure the shoulders are relaxed. Press into the ball, scoop and sit tall. And again, exhale as we come down, press into the ball. Inhale, stack it up. Exhale, stay right here and reach those arms along. Take the arm closest to me and reach it out like a T, follow it, and bring it back to center. And then away from me, and back to center. And we're going to inhale, stretch long, exhale, back to center. Inhale, exhale, one more each side. Now, if this is not good for your back, you can come up higher or place the ball behind you. And I'll inhale. And now exhale. Slide those heels a little closer. Melt those shoulders. Tuck the tail and slowly bring it down to the mat. Lengthen your legs and lengthen the arms all the way behind you. We'll circle those arms around and we'll come back to our bent knee position. Take those arms and reach them long to your side. Feel the pinky slightly pressing into your mat a little bit more. We're going to bridge up, so tuck your pelvis. And slowly articulate that spine off your mat. And then slowly bring it back down. And as you're coming down, slide those fingertips closer towards your heels. And again, tuck your tail. We inhale, lift up. And exhale, bring it down. Take the arms this time with you. Tuck that tail, lift up. Bring the arms all the way behind you. Retrace your steps. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. And do that again. Reach those fingers long. There should be no pressure on your neck. And we return back home. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze gently into that ball and draw those knees into your chest. The lower back should be nice and heavy. Keeping the back nice and heavy. Let's tap our toes down to our mat. The pelvis does not change. Draw the knees way back in. And we tap those toes, and we draw it back in. We inhale, and we exhale. On the next exhale, slowly draw your chin to your chest and reach those fingertips longer. And we bring it back down, inhaling. 
exhale, lift. The lower back stays heavy as we transition from the knees in to the toes down. And one more. Hold it here. Reach those arms parallel to the floor. Lift your shins so they're like a tabletop. The knees are over the hips. And we start to pump the hundred. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the ball. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. In through the nose, nice and deep. Don't make it choppy. Exhale through the lips. You are halfway there. If you start to feel strained to that neck, feel free to put your head down. You can even put the ball behind your head so your head is slightly elevated. And it'll get you a little bit deeper into your core. Every exhalation, I'm pressing deeper into my core as I press into that ball. And I'm not moving from my arms. I'm moving from my back. Make sure the eyes are to the belly. One more. Inhaling. And exhaling. Grab onto those shins. Tug those knees towards you. And place your head on the mat. And that's gently rock side to side, massaging the kidneys and your spine. Nice and gentle. Relax those shoulders and traps. Relax the neck. Good. And we're going to slide that ball down to our feet and press those feet all the way out onto our mat. Reach those arms up. Now, before we do our roll up, we're going to do. A little bit of shoulder placement here, a fundamental. We're going to lift those shoulders up off the mat. The fingers are still reaching long, but lower them back onto the mat. And do that again. I'm going to inhale, exhale, back down. One more time. Here's where I don't want the shoulders to be. Here's where they should be. Now I'm going to draw my chin to my chest, eyes to my belly, but I'm going to start to lift up. Find that lower back. Press into your ball and bring it up and over. Now stay inside this canister. Come on back. So I'm going to keep my eyes to my belly, my chin to my chest. Press into your ball as you lower down to the mat. Try that again. Chin to chest, eyes to belly. Inhale to exhale. Good. You're going up and over that beach ball. Don't let the beach ball touch your torso. Keep the fingers reaching long. Bring it back. For five, four, three, two, and one. And last one. Chin to chest. Use your breath. Inhale first. Exhale. Grab onto that ball. Go a little bit further through the feet. Yep. Grab onto the sides of your ball. And then stack your spine for four, three, two, and and one, soften your knees, place the ball to the middle of your back. Lay back onto that ball, hands to the mat for a second, lift your hips, put them back down. Hand over hand behind that head, elbows are wide. Your legs should be one fist width apart. On an inhale, I'm gonna drape over the ball. If you suffer from vertigo, stay parallel instead of down past the heart. And then nod that chin to your chest, close the ribs and come back up. Try that again. Inhaling over. Let your spine just melt over the ball. Exhale. Curl back up. Use your breath. And again. Nice and easy. Feel the rib cage lengthening, opening. As I bring my head and chest back up, I close the rib cage and kind of funnel it through my hips. Give me one more. Inhale over and exhale up. Now stay here, lengthen your legs into a Pilates V. Take the head back again, and if you're able, I'm going to let my arms reach way behind me and my head drop down to my mat. Sweep your arms towards your hips and lift them back up to the ceiling and reach them behind you. Sweep them out to the side and come back up. I'm going to inhale back, exhale around and lift. Inhale to exhale. Let's reverse it. Let's come down, sweep behind us and come straight up. Inhale down and behind and exhale up. 
inhale down behind and up and one more time down around and up nod the chin to your chest start to reach towards your toes don't completely lift off your ball but make it round again ah and then sink back onto that ball and again press that belly scoop it in and up melt those shoulders just two more scoop and reach and come back down last one now come so light off that ball you can grab it bring it around and reach for your toes place the ball on top of your feet and reach the ball towards the toes scoop that belly in deeper relax the neck relax the shoulders grab onto your ball hold it chest tight and stack your spine for four three two and one inhale here exhale c curve back just a little bit stop right here if you feel strained to your back put the ball behind your back otherwise we're reaching super long now take the leg closest to me and lift it up and lower so scoop deep lift from the quad the hip shoulders are down three two Hold that leg up. Let's take the ball. Four. Anyone else's leg shaking? Three. Yeah, that's okay. Muscles are working. Two. And one. Lower the leg and come up and over. Ah. So let's roll it back again. That same spot. Tucking your tail. Melting the shoulders. And we lift that leg and lower. Up and down. Now we always have opposition in our body. So this leg is lifting up. This leg is feeling like it's pressing down to my mat. Three, two, hold the leg, the arms. Four, just four. Three, two, and one. Put it down and round it forward. Nicely done. Take that ball underneath the back leg furthest from me in the screen. The other leg, I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to slowly start to tilt the tail and come on all the way back. And take that knee with you and get a nice long hip flexor stretch. Good. Now keeping the thigh, keeping the quad where it is, straighten that leg up for two and then bend it down. And again, now remember, I mentioned opposition. So as I slowly take my leg up, my belly is slowly pressing in deeper. No pressure on the neck. Relax the shoulders. Three. And two. And one. Hold it here. Walk the hands up as far as you can. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can. Relax again those shoulders, the neck. Good. Now keep that leg where it is. Put your arms down to your side. Turn your kneecap away from you. That straight leg is up to the ceiling. Put a bowling ball on the torso. Tie down those hips. And let's take this leg across the center. Down and one. And around to come up two. Keep the pelvis stabilized. Do not let it move. Use your breath. And one more. And now let's reverse it. And we go around, zip up, one. This should not be easy. We're moving that leg from our core, stirring the wet cement. Two more. Round to come up. And one more. Grab behind the calf. If you can reach it, the ankle, the thigh. Bend that knee and pull it in. Now hold it right here. Use your hands pressing against your shins as leverage. Nod the chin to your chest. Come up to the base of that shoulder blade. Now draw that ball in and press it out. Now we move slow. In. Feel the back of the leg and the core pulling that ball back in. Elbows right to the side. Make room for those shoulders. Yes. Now keep doing this. But instead of hugging the knee in, grab onto the ankle. And as that leg goes back out, the other leg is going to straighten up and then bend. And if this is too much for the neck, please place your head back on your mat. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale, rock yourself up. And let's take that ball underneath the other leg. So I'm gonna lengthen this leg nice and long. I always like to have like my, my heel hanging off the ball instead of it on the ball, but you guys go where you feel you got control of it, okay? And I'm gonna hug this knee in, tuck the tail, mount the shoulders, come back with as much control as possible. Pull it towards you. Get a nice hip flexor stretch again on this side. Grab onto the ankle, keep the thigh still. We're gonna zip it up for two, nice and easy, and then down for two. And as my leg comes up, my belly goes in. Good, let's add the breath. We're gonna inhale and exhale. Take your time, inhale and exhale. Just give me two more. Don't forget to breathe. Pretty much every movement has a breath. And I bring this leg up and I walk my hands up as far as I can without compromising my shoulders, doing anything funky or my neck. Good. Now keep that leg there. Place the arms down to your side. Turn that kneecap away. We know about all of the stabilizing cues here. Put the bowling ball on the torso, tie down the hips, that circle across the center, lift straight back up. So you're tracing a capital D, right? We inhale. We exhale, and three, and two. Nothing else moves or make your circle smaller and reverse. So if I'm making them real big and my pelvis is going like this all over the place, I just need to make the circle smaller with more control. And two, and one. Grab behind the calf, ankle, or thigh. Bend the knee back in. Use this as leverage to nod the chin to your chest, eyes to belly. And we slowly roll that ball in for two and out for two. Draw it in with resistance. Press it out. Two more. We'll add lifting that leg straight up, eyes to belly, eyes to belly. One more. So I'm going to draw that knee back in again. Grab onto the ankle. Zip both legs straight up. And we bend them both in. Lengthen that leg out of that hip. Two more. One more. Good. Bend both knees in. Hands behind that leg is just moving. And rock yourself up. Take two feet on that ball. All right. So I got my toes on. My heels are off. I'm in a Pilates stance. I'm going to take my hands behind my thighs, and I want you to pull yourself up where the shoulders and the hips are in a straight line. So this wouldn't be right. This is. All right, so making a C-curve is just chin to chest and scoop your belly. Now I'm going to press out for two. My inner thighs are going to wrap around the outer thighs, and I'm going to draw it back in. Create the work. It's not going to happen on its own. Chin to chest, eyes to belly. I inhale, my hands are just there as I'm coming back in to support my spine with my shoulders over my hips. Now stay here, bring those arms up and behind you. You can either have a flat hand behind your mat or you can have your knuckles, whichever is gonna help those shoulders back and less strain to your wrists. Sitting nice and tall, we're gonna press it out and then draw it back in, good. And we inhale out. Exhale in. Two more. Now, if you feel this is hard to sit tall, I want you to keep your hands here. Next level, reach. So feel like I'm standing behind you, right? And we're going to press out for two and come in without leaning back. So you still want those shoulders over your hips. And the shoulders should be connected to your back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now this time, as I straighten my legs, take the hand closest to me. Twist. I want you to grow taller and then come back in. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Feel like someone's playing tug of war with those arms. They're so stretched out. And one more. Get that rotation in that spine. Grab onto your ankles and slowly straighten those legs, pressing the back of the knees down and scooping that belly in. Melt the shoulders, relax the neck. Good. 
and then bring the knees back in and stack the spine. Now take that ball and place it behind the legs. Make sure there's room behind you. Rocking is something that you don't have to do, and I'll show you a couple different variations that you can do. So we'll start by pulling ourselves into a little suitcase and balancing on those sit bones. You are more than welcome to stay just like this. Another option you have is just these tiny little rocks. I'm barely moving at all. Barely moving at all. Another way we can rock is staying down more on the rib cage part of our spine and just making small rocks staying down there. You don't have to come all the way back up. So we'll try staying down there for a second. So I'm going to tip back. Now I'm just going to stay on the rib cage portion of my back. And rock yourself up in balance. So if that went well, and here's how you know it's just not going well. When you come back, right, in this part right here, your lower back can't touch the mat. It's so tight. I can't get myself rounded enough. If that's you, then I wouldn't do a full rock, okay? All right, so we'll try and see where it goes. So chin to chest, you never throw your head back, so always look into your belly. Keep your heels pressing down towards your seat. Melt the shoulders and feel like someone just tipped you over. So it's butt up, butt down. Inhale back. Exhale, you never wanna rock onto your neck, never, ever, ever. I'm trying to stop at the base of my shoulder blades. And one more, butt up, butt down. Grab onto that ball, hold it out in front of you. Lengthen your legs just about three-fourths of the way. It's not completely straight, they're not completely bent. We're gonna draw the belly in again, C-curve, stop right here. So I want you to take the ball around the outside of your front leg, bring it up, okay? And do that again, same leg, up. You're lifting first, from the belly. Then my next focus is the hip and the thigh. Four, three, two, one. Other side, go around the outside. Two, three. All this time we're picking up our pace here. Four, don't pick it up. Four more. Three, good, two, and one. Roll it down, hug those knees in. Gladly, right? Okay, so let's talk about different positions with our ball in this next one. So we're going to start with our ab series now. So if you're somebody who has issues with the neck and you can't have your head up, right, but you want to still feel a little bit of that deeper connection in your core, you can put that ball behind your head just like this. And it will lift you up just a hair more so you feel the belly a little bit more. So that's one option. You don't have to do that at all. The next option I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the ball in my hands and keep it against my quads. Okay? Head down is fine. Head in the ball is fine. Eyes to belly is fine. I'm going to go there. So I'm going to inhale for nothing. Exhale, bring it up. And I'm going to keep this ball right where it is. The leg closest to me, press into the ball. The other leg presses out and then switch and see how the ball just stays there. Now I want you driving through that ball. Don't just tap it, drive through it and through. I'm gonna to start to cue breath. Inhale, to exhale, to inhale, to exhale. Watch the neck, watch the back. One more set, inhale, exhale, and Release. Place the ball in those shins and kind of give a little tug in. Transitioning now to double leg stretch. Again, you can have those two positions. If you don't want your head all the way up, it's head down or ball behind the head. Inhale for nothing. Exhale, nod that shin to your chest. We're going to reach everything away. Put the ball in your back hand. Circle it behind the legs to the front. Inhale to exhale. I do not lower my shoulders with each repetition. I keep them still. I don't know if that's three or four, but switch. <laughs> switch the hand, drill it back under. I go to a Pilates V, back to parallel. Pilates V, back to parallel, last one. 
and release. If you feel strain to your neck, shake your head no. Dip those legs all the way up. Take the ball on the shins. Arms are straight, legs are straight. So I want you to feel both the legs pressing into the ball and the ball pressing into the legs. And right there doing that creates more work in my core. You can keep your head down to start, and then when I start to move a little quicker, I'm going to add eyes to belly. So keep both hands on the ball for now. My leg closest to my screen is going to drop down to the mat for two, and then come back up, touch the ball, then the other leg. And when the leg is staying up against that ball, I want you gently pressing into that ball and the ball into the leg. Create some work. Uh-huh. Watch the lower back. Maybe you shouldn't take the leg parallel. The pelvis should not move. Now I'm going to add opposite arm as leg moving. So now I have more movement. I have to focus harder on stabilizing my pelvis. I lengthen and I lift. So now if you want, you can add eyes to belly. I'm going to inhale down, exhale up. This is not easy. Down and up. So you want to move slow, down two, up two, down two, up two. Last one, bend those knees and hug it in. Good. Take your feet to the mat, bridge up and place the ball under your pelvis, not the lower back. Okay. Take one leg up at a time to a Pilates stance. Arms are close to your side, legs are long, Loose feet, tight seat. We're going to take both of these legs down for three for a double straight leg, lower lift, and then zip it back up and pause. It's lower, 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 lift. Inhale, two, three, two, exhale. One, two, three, two, exhale. Down, down, down. Now reverse that. Go down for one big one. And then scoop up, three, two, one. Inhale down, exhale. The further I get from my center, the more my thighs have to wrap and my sits bones come together a little bit deeper to protect that lower back. Make sure that core scoops deeper as the legs go away. And give me one more, lower, lower, lower and release. Now I'll draw the knees in like a frog and my knees are only as wide as my frame and then zip it up straight up to the ceiling. Inner thighs have those magnets, right? I release. I come down for two. I lengthen up for two. I lower for two. I lengthen up for two. Inhale to exhale. Now instead of going straight up, I'm going to try to go out to 45. If that's not good for your back or your hips, stay going straight up. I'm looking for the thighs to wrap and the belly to scoop deeper the further I go away from my center. I press out. I come in. Now give me one more. Hold this one out and give me little heel beats. So again, loose feet, tight seat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now do little tiny scissors west east. I'm going a little quicker. Boom, 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 boom. Let's start to track it up to the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Back down. Three, two, one. Up, two, three, four, and down. I exhale. I inhale. I exhale. I inhale. Take it up and down. One more time. One more time. You did it. Draw your knees in. Hands go to the inside and give a little tug. That feels pretty good. Hold that stretch for a second. Knees come back to parallel. Place your feet back down on the mat. Press through the heels and lift up into a bridge. Slide that ball out. Bring it straight behind you. Give me an inhale here. Keep the ball back there, but slowly exhale the spine back down to your mat. Feel the length. It's getting longer as we lower. Those arms are staying behind us. Take your time. Lengthen your legs onto your mat. Bring the ball straight up to the ceiling. 
and sit up tall. Nicely done. Okay, so I'm going to take that ball in the hand that's closest to me, so the front hand. And I'm going to take the elbow back and then reach it back up. Other hand takes the ball. I take my time. I bring it back up. I exhale down. And I'm looking over that shoulder, following that elbow. Down and lift. A little slower. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Now hold the ball in both hands and C curve back. Exhale all the air out. Pull the elbows back a little bit. And we're going to go to the screen. Away from the screen. Anchor those sit bones. Anchor those hips. And four. And four. And three, watch that lower back. If you're feeling yucky pressure back there, place the ball back behind you, lean into it. One more, sit tall, and take the legs as wide as your mat. All right, so we're gonna do our spine stretch. So we wanna sit up tall. If we have trouble sitting up tall, I would sit on my ball and just reach your arms out long. Connect your shoulders to your back. Gently pinch your sitting bones so we're sitting taller. We're gonna inhale to initiate. Exhale, chin to chest. Shoulders come off that imaginary wall until I get to the middle of my back. My belly button is pressing deeper. Now press into the ball. Inhale up. Exhale, scoop. Eyes to belly, feet are flexed. Inhale. You should not feel any strain to your back coming up and enjoy the stretch coming forward. Now stay right here. Lower the ball to the mat. Take the hands on top of the ball. And now let the lower back leave the wall as I stretch forward. Head is heavy. Shoulders are relaxed. Good. Slowly start to bring the ball back. Bend your elbows and keep driving the ball until it's to a part in the legs where it can stay firm. It's not going to roll away. Dip those arms out, west to east. Shoulders are heavy. And again, we shouldn't be sitting back. We should be sitting up, okay? Relax those shoulders. Ah. Inhale, twist towards me. And on the exhale, soft your baby toe and continue the rotation by looking at the back hand. Use your core to come up on the inhale. Rotate around, relax those shoulders. Look at your back hand. That rotation kept going. Lift up, inhale. Rotate. Exhale. Inhale up, keep twisting, exhale. We're going to add on. Grab on to the ball with your back hand as you're twisting towards me. Put it through the mat and roll it as we look back. Keep on that same side. Bring your spine back up. The ball goes towards the knee. And I reach those arms in opposition. And again, inhale to exhale. I hold it here. I bring this arm around to grab onto my ball. I stack my spine. I open back out to a T. I rotate away from my screen. Place the ball down on the mat. Roll it towards the heel as you look back at that hand. Inhale. Bring it slightly up. Exhale forward. Scoop that belly in. Now keep that hip pressing down that you're going away from. Inhale up. And exhale. Bring that back arm to your ball. Lift up. Bring the ball with you to the center. Ah, and relax those shoulders. Okay, so we're going to take the ball where our feet just were. And I want you to place it underneath your sternum, so the very top of your sternum. So here we are in an extension. So I push off gently my forearms. My shoulders are gliding down my back. And my sit bones are just gently pressing together. Yes. Now let your body kind of just release. The shoulders kind of just let go. Then I'm going to press through my hands and my arms. I'm going to come back up in that extension. I feel like my hips are pressing down as my belly button is pressing in and up. And I go over my ball. Mount over. 
and again, lift up. So what I don't want you to do with your neck is to lift up that chin and I'm not in line anymore with my spine. And then come back over. We're gonna add on. I'm gonna lift up, hold, hover the hands off the mat, place them back down and go back over the ball. Lift up, bring those hands up. Take them back down and release over your ball. One more, we'll lift up, Hold the hands here. Pull the elbows back. Come into a higher extension. Press the arms back towards the way they were just were. Pull the elbows back. Back to where they were. And squeeze the butt. And return. And one more. Press. Take the hands back to your mat. And press back into a child's pose. So scoop the belly and round the back. Good. All right. Get a nice long stretch here. Now roll your ball towards the front edge of your mat, which is where I am, the front edge. And then take that ball to the back edge and keep your hips anchored. And then bring it back to center. And then come back onto your forearms and press those knees off the mat and come into a forearm plank. So I'm in my Pilates V. Now we know there's so many ways so many ways to modify a plank. We can lower our knees, right? We can lift the feet if we want. Okay, but if we have to, we'd be here, but really that's not doing us any good. We at least want to be here, okay? All right, so I'm squeezing that ball gently, reminding my core to stay engaged. I'm firing my back muscles. I'm holding this nice and still for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to lower your thighs to the hips, straighten out the toes. Legs are together, shoulders are heavy. We're gonna take the front foot and kick our seat twice. Kick, kick, release. Other side, kick, kick. So I'm trying to keep my pelvis still, my hips still. My hips are on the mat, my belly button is off. Kick, 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 kick. Are we into this class 45 minutes already? We can't be. Almost. I know Deb had to leave 45 minutes into it. Let's go, last one. Kick, kick, and child's pose. Place that ball between the thighs and give me a nice stretch. Scoop that belly and round the back. So we're gonna work again on pelvis stabilization. And we're gonna challenge that pelvis and make the body figure out what it's gotta do to keep it stable. So I'm gonna come into a quadruped position and you're gonna need your ball for this. All right, so my back knee is gonna be on the ball. My shoulders are over my wrists, okay? You can keep your toes on the mat. Now press off your mat, squeeze into those armpits, my crown of my head is reaching long. I'm not leaning like this or like this. Scoop that belly, slightly tuck the tail. I'm going to try and lift this knee off the mat. Hold it here. The belly has to be pulling in. Aha, uh -huh. in and up. Now that leg is going to stay off the mat. I'm going to reach that leg long. And I'm going to draw that knee parallel to the other knee. Press out, inhale. Exhale. Now, there's a way to make this harder. I can't do it on this side. I've tried. But you would take that foot that's with the ball. I'll try. Take it back. Yeah. I'm really wobbling. and <laughs> Bring it back in. See that? Yeah. This is my bad side. I can do the other side. Out. And in. Two more. Stay with me. Out. Good. And in. And one more. Out. And in, now keep that knee off, take the toes on, hold this here. Try to feel like you're lifting off that ball from your core, but it's still touching the ball, and then release it back down. Okay, put the ball between your knees for a second. Go back in that child's pose. I wanna release my wrist real quick. So I'm gonna sit back, take my arms behind me, and curl my fingertips to my wrist, making like a little cup. Okay, let's try the other side. So I'm going to take the ball whoop, behind or underneath the opposite knee. You guys still hanging tight? Yeah. Okay. I guess so just come boom right in here. All right. 
Here we go. So you don't want a lot of pressure on those wrists. You want to put it into the back and into the belly. Your toes can stay on the mat. I would always suggest starting like that. All right, so I'm going to hover my other knee off the mat. So you can see my ball is moving. My body is saying, okay, what do I have to do to stabilize? All right, we're going to let another leg out and in. Out. So here I can get those toes off the mat. My ball is still wobbling, but I can do it. So you can try. Yeah, it's not easy. And three. I know. And two. And one. Toes come back on. Keep that knee hovering. Now feel that ball getting a little bit lighter. And then release it down. Put the ball between those knees. Let's release those wrists. My wrists don't like to be in flexion that long. Hopefully that worked okay for you guys. Woo. All right. So let's sit on our seat. We did bridges at the beginning, so I'm not going to do bridges again, unless you guys really want to do bridges again. I like to do more twisting. All right. So I'm going to take that ball in my hands. In a perfect world, my legs would be straight. My feet would be flexed, right? And I'm sitting tall with my ears, shoulders, and hips in a straight line. That's not always doable for everybody. So if you need to, you'd soften your knees, right? I even have people sit in a crisscross position because that really gets them up tall. Yes. Now, what did you do differently? Uh-huh. <laughs> what you did was that pelvis was going here. It's here and straight in the line. Now, I want you to pay close attention because you guys are sitting up quite well. Pay attention now to your feet, okay? So if I rotate and my feet move, that means my hips moved and we're not getting that full stretch. So I want you to keep the feet very still. So we're going to inhale up, twist towards me, one, a little further, two. My neck has to stay with my spine and not continue another direction. Back around the center, inhale, exhale, one, a little further, two. Inhale. Now think of that barbershop pull, and we're spiraling up and up. Now we stay where we just stopped. Now we're going to spiral taller, boom, boom. Center and shh, 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 shh. One more each side. I exhale, rotate, inhale, center, shh, shh, and release. Okay, scoot the boot forward and take that ball between the ankles. So we're going to try. Can you guys do rollovers? Okay, so we're going to try and do. Um, jackknife with the ball. All right, so as I come back, I'm going to bring my legs up and over, zip those legs up, shoulders are down, roll it down to 45. Now, if this isn't a good thing for you to do, keep going, ladies, you can just bend the knees, draw it into your chest, and do like a reverse crunch, right? So that's an option there, okay? Let's just do one more. Reach it up and over, up, shoulders go down, and then roll it down and hug those knees in. So let me make a little bit of a note there. When you are pressing over, you never want to feel that your neck is being pressed into. It's the shoulders anchoring. The neck should be free. Okay, rock yourself up. We're going to position that ball for our sidekick series. All right. So let's take it onto this side. We're going to place that ball at the very bottom of our rib cage. The shoulder and the elbow should be in alignment. This should be nice and light on the ball, not heavy. See what happens to my shoulder here? Lengthen that top leg nice and long. Take this hand behind your head. Pushing the bottom leg down, lift this top leg up and then down. The neck should be nice and long. However, if your neck gets cranky, feel free to look down at the mat. Lift it up. So the first thing I want to focus on when I'm lifting here, of course, is my core. Then I'm going to focus on my outer thigh, my outer hip, and my glutes. Take your time. Lift it up. Let's just do one more. Hold it here. I'm going to flex my foot. Front back. So I'm going to swing, give a push, and swing, give a push. I exhale, exhale, 
inhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going to try to go into a bicycle. I'm going to swing forward, bend my knee, bring my knee back, flex my foot, and reach. I come forward, bend. My knee and my heel on that same plane. I reach long. One more. Forward. Bend. Bend. Extend. Hold it center. Now I come back. I kick my seat. My knee is coming way forward. I don't move my thigh. I extend. Push my belly in deeper. Swing back. Kick your butt. Draw the knee forward. Press that belly in. Extend. One more. Bend that knee. Drive it forward, come back, hold right here. We're going to circle, round to come up, round to come up. So you should feel all of this working. This should not have collapsed. Now let's reverse it. Inhale to exhale. Release and bring it in. Now this hand's going to come around to my ball. I'm going to lift up my hips and bring my ball up, okay? The ball is going to come down with my hips. I'm going to lift back up, bring it back down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. How can I make this harder? I'm going to take my legs out into a scissor. So my top leg went to the front corner, my back leg went towards the back. I'm going to lift this up. Lower down, lift up. So if you had a shoulder issue or a back issue, I wouldn't have changed it. Lift up and down. Now I want you to hold this one up, bend the elbow, push the ball down. Bend the elbow, lift the arm up. Now I'm kind of gonna follow my ball. Press and lift and one more, press lift and then bring everything down bend those knees i'm going to do a little mermaid stretch so my top leg is going to come back behind my or my yeah my top leg is going to come back behind all right that ball is going to go into my hand here i'm going to go over a railing inhale exhale now here's a couple points this should stay connected i should never reach out so far that i've lost that connection I also want you to keep this hip pressing down towards the mat. So it's not going with you, it's staying anchored. Bring it up and I'm just gonna grab onto my shin and give me a stretch here. Good, and then other side. Okay, we survived that. All right, modify when you need to. So the ball is at the very bottom of my rib cage. I start with my knees stacked, so I make sure my hips are stacked. My shoulder and my elbow are in a straight line. My rib cage is saying light on the ball. My shoulder is connected to my rib cage. These are such important alignment cues. Now lengthen your top leg and feel like I'm even reaching it longer out of that hip. And I bring this elbow to the ceiling. I'm pushing my bottom leg down as I lift my top leg up. And then I lower. Make sure your glutes are firing and the core. And I lift. Think of reaching this leg longer with each lift as you connect this shoulder to the back deeper with each lift. Four more. And three. And two. I'm going to hold this one up for front back. So I flex, give a push, I point. There are two kicks here, a big and a little. I don't care how far you go, but this hip has to stay still. So I can't bring it forward on this way and back this way. So you decide how far you can go and keep the pelvis still and the hips. Let's go into bicycle. I'm going to swing forward. I'm hip height. Bend the knee. Drive that knee back and I reach long. Swing forward. Bend the knee. I'm keeping it parallel to the floor, equal to my hip. So watch carefully what that leg is doing. Bring it back to the center. Reverse. I come back, kick my seat. My knee comes way forward. Don't move the thigh. Press the belly in. So you want to feel that opposition taking place. And reach. 
One more. Take it back. Bend it through. Now bring it back to parallel. Watch the shoulder. Circle. Round to come up for four. Round to come up for three. Round to come up two. Round to come up one. Now reverse it. And three. And two. And one. Stack the knees. This hand here is going to reach run to grab the ball. We're going to bring it up with the hips. And then we lower the ball down with the hips. Inhale. Now you are more than welcome to stay just like this. And if even this movement is too much for that bottom shoulder or bottom hip, maybe just do the arms, but keep these muscles contracted. Hold it up. If you want to make it harder, I take my top leg to the front, my back leg to the back. I lower everything down. I lift everything up. I bring it down. I lift it up. I bring it down. Now hold it up. You can also take your bottom knee down for support. I'm going to bend my elbow, touch the ball to my mat. Follow the ball as it goes back up. Press. And every time I press that ball, my belly presses in deeper. We've got one more to go. Keep those hips lifted. And then bring it down. Bend those knees in. Take your top leg behind you. Whew. That was work. Do you agree? <laughs> Very much. I like it. We're going to go over. Remember your connections here. Keep that butt pressing down. Keep the shoulder connected to your back. We're going to inhale over that railing. Exhale. So I'm not just letting this go. I'm pulling it in as I'm going over my railing. I come up, my free hand grabs onto that back shin, and I bring the ball up and over the other side. Anchor the hip and feel the length and the stretch. Wonderful. Bring it back down, and let's turn to face our feet. Woo! Let's do some teasers. All right, so I'm gonna start with my legs fist width apart, and you don't wanna have the feet too close, okay? I'm gonna rest that ball right here on top, Fingers are reaching long. I'm not up like this. I'm sort of starting back into a diagonal, and I'm going to tuck my tail, bring that boulder down, draw my chin to my chest, find that lower back, and lift up to my diagonal. Exhale down. Chin to chest, eyes to belly. Lift up on the inhale. Exhale. Now let's go harder. Let's go harder. I'm going to go way to like a teaser three because I know that you guys can do that. You are more than welcome though to stay how we just were. Okay. All right. So the arms are behind me. I'm going to start to bring my ball towards my toes. I'm going to bring myself up. Here I am. And then bring everything down. Draw my eyes to my belly. Find that lower back. My eyes and toes come together. Now let me cue this a little bit different. I'm going to bring my ball up, chin to chest, freeze with my eyes and toes hovering. My lower back should be down. Now lift up. Woo, we're starting to sweat now. Bring it back down. Reach it long. One more time. The thing I'm trying to stress here is my lower back is down. Now hold it here. Take the ball up. Back leg goes down. Switch. You can also lie down and hug those knees into your chest. And now we're all going to come down and reach those arms long. Now take the legs as wide as your mat. Take your back ankle, cross it over the front, and slide your ball to the front edge of your mat. And I'm going to kind of look back there at my ball and feel like someone's standing by that foot down there and pulling that foot a little bit longer. And then bring that ball back to center. Take that leg back over. Cross the front ankle over the back. Slide the ball to the back edge of your mat. I'm going to look back at my ball. Reach that ankle even longer. Bring the ball back to center. Take that leg back over. Bring the ball up to the ceiling. Draw the chin to your chest. Find that lower back. And sit up. Woo! Okay. All right, so we don't have time to just one, but I do want to do kneeling side kicks because I feel like they're always being tossed up because they're towards the end and we run out of time. So kneel. 
Kneel on your mat. I do like these. All right, so we're gonna keep the ball in our hands. Eyes keep coming apart today. It's just one of those days. <laughs> I think I need to get a lapel one. Okay, take the leg out and bring those arms straight up. Now form is everything. So I shouldn't be having my butt shifting back. Everything should be pushing forward. My hips feel like they're trying to open, like when you do a bridge. Back of my heel is in line with the back of my knee. I'm going to go stretching to my straight leg. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale. Stay here. Take the ball down. The other arm comes up. Okay. Now bend both elbows. Hand the ball to the other hand. And here I am. Now my fingertips that are hovering go down. Back to where you just were. Bend the elbows. Grab your ball. Tap it to your mat. Bend your elbows, reach it away from the mat, reach the fingertips to the mat, bring it back up one more time. Tap the mat with the ball, bring it back here. Hold it, stretch it, and then come all the way up. And bring those arms down and bring that leg in. Whew. I really like the stretch and the strength you get on that. Now, I know side kicks, you know, we're moving the legs a lot, and it's a different way of doing it, but I just like to do this way sometimes. So the hips are pressing forward. Your heel is in line with the back of your knee. It can't be falling inward, right? Hips are forward. I go towards my straight leg first. That's an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now separate the arms, and the ball goes to the mat. I you want to touch the mat. Here's my diagonal. Now stay in that diagonal. Bend the elbows. My fingertips will dangle off my mat. I stretch, touch them, come back to where I was, bend the elbows, touch the ball to the floor. Grab on, reach it away. Side bend, oblique pull you back up. One more. Make sure your glutes are firing to protect the back. Fingertips dangle. Boom. Boom, bring it all the way up, bring it to parallel, and bring that leg in. Okay, let's turn long ways here. And I want you to take your front leg, okay, forward. And you're going to take this ball, whichever way you can get it there, under that shin. So alignment here, knee over the ankle, one hand on each side of that foot, and don't have the torso resting on your quad, pull the belly in. Let your back foot float off the mat, okay? Think of knee stretch series on the reformer. I'm going to draw my knee in, add a little, in, in, four. That belly is driving in that ball. Three, two, hold it here in little tiny ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now roll that ball out as far as you can, then let the toes go down. Try to have the knee still over the ankle. Hold that stretch. Feels good. Now the opposite hand as foot is on the mat, and the other arm is going to come up and twist. Come through, thread the needle, follow it, and then bring it back up. Inhale. Exhale, and take that hand back on the mat. Ah, and then drop that knee to the floor and come up to your high kneel again. Okay, other side. All right, so I start with the other leg forward. That's my back leg. Lift up, place the ball under the shin. One hand on each side of the foot, and my knee is over my ankle. My belly is scooping in. I drive the ball in and around the position. My spine doesn't change. I'm driving in from my core. Shh. I exhale as I come in. I'm not taking that leg all the way back. I'm staying in this bent position. Three, two. Now hold it in little tiny ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly roll it out. When you've gone far enough, you put your toes down. Woo. 
the hand opposite as the foot is on the mat. I'm going to sweep this one up. I follow it. Inhale. Exhale. Thread the needle. Follow that hand. Good. Inhale. Rotate up. Exhale. Scoop the belly. Bring that hand back onto the mat. Roll that knee back down. Take the other leg back straight. I'm going to go into a plank. Forget about the ball. Forget about the ball. Connect your heels. Lift your front leg up. Pulse your back leg. One, two, connect your heels. Lift the leg up, and I keep switching my legs. I lift up, pulse, pulse, return. Lift up, pulse, pulse, return. Separate your feet. Hike up into a down dog. I'm going to walk my feet a big step forward on each side. Drive those heels down. Feel a stretch in the calves, the Achilles tendon. Head is hanging heavy. The weight should be off my wrists. Scoop your belly. Lift your heels. Press the heels back down. Feel the spine elongate. Scoop and round and bring it back down. Now walk those hands closer to your feet. Keep the legs straight. Hands are right by the feet. Fingertips only left from the mat. Now pull your navel in deeper. Head is heavier. Let the arms dangle and let them just circle on their own. You got to keep that belly scooping. Now hold the arms still from the core. Start to come up. Your tail is pushing down. Four more counts. And three. And two. And one. And you have made it. Woo! Okay. Feel, feel good? Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> that felt good.